Hey you, my name is Thomas Tom Scott Ridgewell and welcome back to Thanks Day, the series where I introduce you to the unsung heroes of my videos, the men and women behind the cameras. And in this instance I mean that quite literally because today I'd like to talk about the cinematographers. Unlike everything else I've talked about in this series, actually filming my videos is the one thing I've never really been able to do myself on account of being in them, being in front of the camera. Aside from a few early vlogs and mini sketches, I've always relied on other people to make sure the action is in front of the camera, that it's framed up nicely, that it's in focus, and most importantly, that the record button has actually been pressed. Learned that one so many, so many times. Over the years, I've come to appreciate that the camera crew are usually the hardest working people on set. While everyone else might be taking a quick break, they're usually still there, building the equipment, setting up the next shot, lighting, rigging. They rarely stop. Although for this video, I'm just gonna be focusing on the camera operators and directors of photography. Jumping back to the start, my earliest videos were filmed by the group of friends I made in sixth form. We called ourselves Cake Bomb. Abby, Ruth, Minna, Chris, myself, we all film stuff here and there, but really it was my one old friend Rosie who did most of the shooting. I called her the human tripod because she had a very steady hand, not because she had an enormous penis. When I moved to university and graduated from filming on my handy cam to a more real camera is when things started to get more official. My cake bomb buddy Chris and I would still film things on the fly, but it was when I met geeky power couple Emma and Richard that my set started to look almost kind of sorta of professional. Emma, Chris, and sometimes Richard shot almost all of my university era videos. Like the early cake bomb days, it was usually a case of whoever wasn't in front of the camera was holding it. No one was being paid, we were borrowing all the equipment from the university, and at any given time we only understood what roughly half of the buttons on the camera did, but it worked, and we made some cool videos. It was when I left university and moved to London though that things really stepped up. This is where we entered the golden era of Tom Scar with the arrival of Kieran O'Brien. He just graduated from Bath Spa University and let me tell you, he knew what every button on his camera did. Starting out with just a Canon 5D and a couple of soft boxes, he very rapidly evolved as both a camera operator and a director of photography. Every shoot would provide new challenges, opportunities to improve, and on top of that pay for new equipment. And before long, Kieran was the go-to guy within the UK YouTube scene because he was talented, ambitious, affordable, and also expected and anticipated the quite frankly unprofessional and chaotic nature that can be expected on a YouTube set. It would be a crime not to attribute a huge portion of my growth and success on YouTube to his hard work, late hours, and long suffering. So. Thank you, Kieran. That's not to say I was entirely faithful to Kieran, though. In the years we worked together, I had a few one, two, or even six night stands with other camera operators. I don't like to be tied down, okay? And sometimes he was busy. Those folks were Mike Truman, Jack Howard, Jim Booth, Alex Odom, Aiden Hillier Smith, Benedict Spence, Elliot Goff, and George Shankster. I had such high hopes for us, George. Why'd you have to go and get a real job like that? Oh, and two days ago, I filmed for the first time with a DOP called Edgar Dabrowski, but you haven't seen that video yet, so maybe Friday? These days, though, I spend most of my time on set with director of photography and official boat dweller Max Brill. I met Max while I was briefly working with the BBC and it was his enthusiasm that initially drew him to me. He has this joyous, mischievous energy that I felt was sorely lacking from my sets. He also looks a bit like a wildling. He also punched Elliot's light switch in half for like no reason, and I still need to replace that. Thanks, Max. So that's another little insight into the professionals behind the unprofessionalism, the makers of the madness. And hopefully now you can appreciate them and what they do just a little bit more. Or at the very least, you know their names. I want to say thank you to everyone I mentioned in this video for making my career a possibility, and thank you to you for watching. Tom Scott, out.